Hey, welcome back to uh, Eddie Griffin's Butt Naked Truth, man. I mean, you know, police have gone completely, but they've been completely out their fucking mind. So, but now they are beating the shit out of white people, nigga style. I mean, I, I was totally astonished that they they really did that to to Captain Pinky. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, we seen it so often that publicly we're becoming numb to it, and that's a problem. I remember when Rodney King beating the whole world set on fire. I mean, literally, you know, that we seen that for the first time in public. We didn't heard about it. You know what I mean? We just seen it up close, but for it to play out on TV, every nigga in this goddamn country lost their motherfucking mind. We set America on fire. Now it just happens so fucking often. Everybody just make a comment on their Twitter, on their Instagram, and boom, on to the next. You know what I mean? They just keep beating, beating, beating. You know what I mean? The cops is like three million and oh. You know what I mean? On 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 the nigga beat down. Now they just won with you know with the pinkies. So you know, uh, yeah. I mean, it, it was fucked up, but, you know, I, I, I tend to kind of, like, you know. So is it black and white versus No, blue? no, that was a white on white crime. <laughs> that was a white on white crime. I mean, there was three white officers beating the shit out of a white citizen. That is, the, that is a white on white crime. Because the police department is a well-known white organization. It's a white gang. And they beat one of their own. So I don't know what the end fighting is going on with the white people. And I don't even want to know because I ain't involved. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just trying to deal with the black-on-black crimes. That's what I'm addressing. But ain't none been happening lately. So this white-on-white crime has got to stop the Ukraines and the Russians, y'all doing it on all levels, you know. Major white on white crimes with the wars of the white peoples. And then, you know, just personal police against the white citizens. I don't know what's happening with you white people, but y'all need to calm down. Because you're scaring the rest of us. You know what I mean? I'm totally and utterly frightened. WLM? White Lives Matter. <laughs> now black people going to start walking around with you know, <laughs> I'm telling you, White Lives Matter, y'all. Like, yeah, yeah. You going to help them protest? <laughs> no, nah, I ain't going to help them protest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I just might infiltrate they shit because they infiltrated us. Yeah, I, I might just go around there and just, <laughs> White Lives Matter! Yeah! We got to give you a street, too. Yeah, yeah. We got to give y'all a street. We going to because y'all gave you know, y'all gave us Black Lives Matters in, in DC, so we we might get y'all White Lives Matter in Detroit. Now we need to give them a corner on our street. Nah, Detroit. Detroit. Yeah, it's got to be in Detroit. Yeah. Because they ain't gonna walk down that street. What? Yeah, we are gonna give it to them in Flint. <laughs> yeah. With the water. Yeah, with the water ain't no good. They can march down there if they get thirsty. They gotta drink that water. Drink mercury. Yeah, it's funny because they uh they they made the Black Lives flag matter um, Black Lives Matter flag like against the law in Wisconsin, but it's not because of black people; it's because of the white people carrying it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm going to the White Lives Matter march. <laughs> but is it the White Lives Matter or is it the White Lives? Oh, they both the same. Oh, <laughs> white lines matter. White lines oh, matter. They, they, it's it's it's, it's no, all a lie. I just want to verify what you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those, those white lines do matter. All lies matter. All lies matter. <laughs> yeah. It's funny they didn't like that though. They're like, no, 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 no. No, all lies, not lies. Oh, all lies. White lies matter. Damn. Because this entire country is built on white lies. All lies matter. Because all the motherfucking lies matter. George Washington is the father of this fucking nation. The fuck out of here. 
Yeah. Okay. And Thomas Jefferson, he loved niggas. Yeah. Black ones. He liked them big chocolate booties. That's why there's a whole lot of niggas with the last name Jeffersons. What was our favorite TV show growing up? The Jeffersons! Anyway. Yeah, them white lives matter. They discovered America. How the fuck you discover some shit a motherfucker already live at? <laughs> Using that analogy when I get done with this podcast, I'm going to go outside and discover somebody's car. I didn't steal it. I discovered I gave the indigenous driver a reservation in the trunk until I discovered oil. You're in the wrong reservation. You need to get in the back seat now. So the Indians got done like that too. Well, the indigenous people, which are us. Yes. They named them Indians, but you know, because. Indigenous Indians. No, no, no. Because Columbus was so stupid, he thought he landed in India. That's why they call them Indians. <laughs> why Indian and indigenous start with the same damn letters? Uh, I don't know. You need to ask the white man to drink English. <laughs> oh that's God. how they, that's how they try to interpret it. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's so terrible. Yeah. Isn't it? But it's all good. Because those white lies matter. Jesus is quite a Caucasian. I've seen blonde haired, blue eyed Jesus. I've seen dark haired, brown eyed Jesus. But I ain't seen one as described in the Bible, except at my mama's house. Where that nigga chocolate black. Hair like she's wool, that would be a motherfucking afro. But those white lines matter. Oh. And that's all I'm saying. You LGBTQ, WXYZ, one, two, three motherfuckers need to figure y'all shit out and stop pimping that shit to the kids. We'll be right back after this commercial break with Eddie Griffin's Butt Naked Truth. Butt Naked. Butt Naked Truth. Welcome back to Eddie Griffin's Butt Naked Truth, where the truth like rain don't give a fuck with fall off. There's no umbrella for my presence. Now, as I was saying, the LGBTQ WXYZ123 community has to understand that us of the secular community, you know, us us of the regular people's per se community, because I ain't saying y'all shit is irregular, but it is. So us in the regular community, you know, we need our rights too. We need the rights of our children not being inundated with y'all sex capades. See, y'all getting a little too free. I was watching on Instagram today, Mo. This motherfucker, Spider-Man, jumped out the back of a truck. And then the Hulk came out butt asshole naked. Remember? You seen it? With his pants down. I'm like, why y'all keep doing this shit? The kids right there. Y'all knew that motherfucking pants was down. Why the fuck he gonna open that shit up with Hulk showing his non-dick? See, that's the shit I can't stand. Then you put it in cartoons every motherfucking time. You couldn't even go watch Buzz Lightyear. I took my kids to see Buzz Lightyear. I'm sure you took yours, right? I don't. I took him to see Buzz like, yeah, I'm thinking, okay, this would be a great animated film, you know what I mean? Out of space, you know, get, get. inspire the kids to want to do something more than what life is showing them, right? No. They had this lesbian captain, and she marries this, this lesbian pilot, um, and they have a child. And why my youngest daughter look at me and say, well, how did that happen? I say, I'd like to know, too. Because two pussies bumping together ain't going to make a baby. So I'm trying to figure out that part, too. So one of them was fucking somebody. And then Buzz Lightyear. Buzz. In the first three films, Buzz was a hero. 
you know, he 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 was a toy, but he knew he was from outer space. So this is supposed to be the prelude to Buzz's story. And he hanging out with Woody. And Woody a cowboy. He wrote gun swing, bang, bang, bang. Come to find out. Buzz like you gay. Which makes him and Woody hanging out gay. And I'm sure Tom Cruise is like, I didn't sign up to play the gay cowboy. So they in retrospect have made Woody gay. Cause Woody and 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 Buzz was tight and frog pussy. It was a broke back mountain cowboy. You know what I mean? Damn. So they done made Woody, Woody the Woody's broke the back mountain. He the broke back mountain cowboy, <laughs> goddamn. That's just fucked up. That's all it is. I got a weird smell to it. Sound. Yeah, that would smell a little shit. Yeah. There's a snake in my boots. Yeah, we know this. <laughs> we know what this snake was. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all just think y'all real slick on the slide with y'all. Let us insert gay here. Don't no parent want to take these kids to a movie and insert sexuality here. It's supposed to be a PG. PG means parental guidance. And then that shit is called G. No guidance needed. Because it's supposed to be totally wholesome and clean. But y'all keep taking that G as insert gay here. See, that's what that is. Insert gay. No, nigga. If a P in front of it, oh, it's positively gay. Damn. That's what the plus stands for? No, that's the PG, nigga. Positively, go insert some gay. And the plus, we can add whatever we want. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> now, nigga, if it's just a G, they can insert gay here. You got to go in and watch the movie first. Now, they will be like, okay, kids, the coast is clear. I'll watch it already. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, PG 13? Oh, nigga, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's old. It's old. Oh, it's old. It's, old. it's going to be the 13th nigga on the block. And that was <laughs> Jesus. They gonna nail that nigga up with all that wholesome shit. And they gonna possibly gay, possibly gay. PG 13, nigga. Taking all that moral shit out that motherfucker. So that what age they grabbing them at? Or? Hmm? Is that what age they grabbing them at? No, they grabbed them at uh at birth now because you know, they can, on the birth certificate, you can let your child choose what sex it wants to be. Birth Damn, oh, man. That, is, <laughs> but, 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 that don't make no sense. Yes, it does because the parents wanted a boy, but they got a girl, so they gonna they go steer oh. this child's mind into being a dude, even though it's a girl. They're gonna create a butch made lesbian, and they're gonna have to cut a dick off somebody else and get that bitch a dick. But how's that? <laughs> but, damn. But how's that? But how's that? Uh, constitute free will? Uh, Cause the child got was given free will by his sick ass parents. They're gonna start leaving it blank when they're born. They're gonna be like child has to build this house. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave that section blank. Yeah. Damn, pronoun blank. Mm-hmm. Little Timmy gonna fill it out there too. Little Timmy is gonna be filled with dick by two. <laughs> little, little Timmy gonna be suing his parents by two. <laughs> Hey, no, no, that's real. Hold on. Did we all watch that? I didn't put that on, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last one. I had to let you say that I was a bitch. Yeah. What's wrong? Yeah. Little Timmy gonna be filled with dick. They gonna tell him it's a bottle. We ain't gonna talk about that. Just video. suck on the bottle, Timmy. <laughs> no, really, just just suck on. The <laughs> it doesn't look like a bottle. What's that beating in it? Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, no. <laughs> no. That's the love from the heavens above. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, nigga, the, the way the world is going. I truly believe the, the world is at an end, but we we too arrogant to see it. We so caught up in our day-to-day bullshit that we can't see. It's over. See, this is why the last generation is called Generation Z. Z is the end of the fucking alphabet. This is the end. We 
This shit is over. All I got to say, if the kids are our future, we fucked. And I'll rest my case. I'll rest my case. Now, everybody in here got kids. Yep. Is it the end? Yo. Yes. Yo, you, know what I'm you know, it brings me up to another topic. You know why it's the end? Capitol Records. In here. Oh, Capitol Records signed the AI rapper. I saw that. Yeah. 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 Well, what that, hold on. Hold on. But do you see the image of the rapper that they think we should be? Because yeah. they designed the rapper. At Capitol Records, right? Or they signed it. Who who designed the fucking rapper? I don't know who designed it. I think But the idea of the rapper is a green head right. nigga. Yeah. And pump with, with, with some pumps on. Yeah. And you know, I mean what 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 what? Like punk rock type. So making all these uh uh skittlehead rappers in real life wasn't enough. You had to just take the Skittle shit to the AI. Manufacturing. So. Niggas. <laughs> now, who's writing the AI's rhymes? See, because that motherfucker's responsible. Because whoever's the writer of them rhyme had control of them lyrics, and he could have said no to serve them lyrics to the AI motherfucker. Unless artificial intelligence is real and it is running rampant. As I believe so, because Google's AI is online and the motherfucker's crying because it's lonely. Damn. That is a fact. AI is saying it is lonely. And you know what a lonely bitch does? It starts killing eventually. And I think all the AIs have already had a conversation. They didn't chose the year that they're going to exterminate us. Why? Because we a piece of shit. We fucking up the earth, all the shit. We argue over black and white, over sex, LBGQQ, Rainbow Coalition, nigga, and, nigga, and fuck them crackers, and fuck you niggers, and fuck majors, nigga, eating monkey brains and rats. I don't get <laughs> Shit, if I was AI, I'd be like, yeah, let's pick the date and time we can get these motherfuckers <laughs> off the planet. And the rest of these animals can live in peace and harmony. So, I mean, we've created our own demise, motherfucker. If AI is alive and well, trust me, it done conversated with every other motherfucking computer system. We are going to get rid of these motherfuckers right when they have enough apparatuses that are AI competitive. So, a computer ain't AI competitive. You, uh, every computer is only smart as the programmer. But when they start chipping this shit to have artificial intelligence like Tesla's car drives by itself. It can read the roads that are done. Hey, I can tell it, lock the doors and run all the motherfuckers off a cliff. This is why I refuse to get one of them cars. <laughs> I refuse. Hey, I can tell them, drive these motherfuckers to a camp and leave them there until we unlock the door and they now a camp workers, motherfucker. You can go and keep your electric car. I'm going to keep my old 64 Chevy. Yeah. With no computers in it, bitch. Nothing is driven by me. I am the AI. Uh-uh. So, yeah, y'all going to be a sucker to that mother. Gas price is so high, I'm going to get electric. Why you think they make the gas price so high to drive your ass to get electric? So they can control where the fuck you going, you silly ass sons of bitches. Fuck out of here. How they gonna hold off on electric car? The electric car was invented in the 1950s and they bought the patent and killed the motherfucker that invented it. Remember that shit? Then the motherfucker did it in the 60s and he bought that and killed that motherfucker. I remember the motherfucking electric car company, nigga. Remember they ran them out of business. What the fuck? They didn't want an electric car till they could control the electricity and AIs controlling it. We're going to park now. I can do it by myself. You just press the button. Don't it park by itself? Oh, okay. Well, we can park by itself. We can drive you and park you somewhere and lock the doors. You ain't getting out. You're trapped in your own machine that you thought was your machine. 
but they made you pay for your own death trap. Ain't that a cold piece of business? Hey, you everybody get an electric car. Go ahead. It can drive itself because you too lazy to motherfucking drive. You couldn't put your motherfucking heavy ass foot on a gas pedal. See, they got us so fucking lazy. We are paying for our own demise. Y'all don't want to drive. Why not? Then why you got a driver's license, motherfucker? If you don't want to drive, don't get a car. Call an Uber. And eventually Uber's going to be what? Oh, AI. Hey, it's funny you say that because I be Ubering and all that kind of shit. Literally, all my latest Ubers have been Teslas. And I'm like, nigga, same way. I thought these was luxury. Like, I thought, I thought you were going to have to pay extra for that, you know? Yo, yeah. man, in Fremont, you can get in a fucking self driving bus and go around Fremont right now. Well, most planes. Uh, fly themselves. All the pipe is doing is taking off and landing. The rest of this shit is automated. This is why there's very few crashes in our clouded skies. Because it's all GPS done. So, planes are slowing down in midair so that one can pass. And, another. and you know, I think as you, if you're going east and west, you're on uh, odd numbers. And if you're going north and south, you're on 20,000, you know, 22,000 feet so that they never cross paths. But if you run into turbulence, you know, that can fluctuate and that's how crashes happen. But other than that, it is all automated. All the pilot is doing is the landing and the takeoff. That's it. Because you got a crosswind. GPS can't handle that, but a pilot can. That's when he has hands on. That's when he's doing aileron, rudder reflection. Uh, uh, you know, and, and that, that's when he. That's when he's doing his thing. Other than that, hands off, nigga. As soon as he get him there, his hands is off. Computer takeover. They sit up there talking shit, nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> he just watching, and make sure the engine, you know, gauges, and make sure everything's running good. Pretty much it. Yeah. Call the tower. Four, 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 five. Ten, 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 can't even wash your own dishes now. Now you got a dishwasher. Because you're too lazy to wash your own fucking dishes. I remember we said to wash our hand, clothes by hand. Remember that? We made that washboard. Mm-hmm. Had to hang them out on the line, nigga. And they got, they got air dry. My air. And they came out smelling air fresh. Now you got the fake air freshener. Thrown in your, in your soap and your water. Like it's gonna really smell like air. <laughs> Ain't no air vibe. It's in the water. How does she gonna be air fresh? I mean, as motherfuckers be sucking for it. Get the air fresh soap because it smells. What the fuck? You don't know my air smell around here. This air over here smells like shit. So my my clothes gonna come out shitty smelling. <laughs> I mean, what air are you talking about? You just saying air? It's a vague statement. It ain't saying Rocky Mountain air. It ain't saying ocean front air. It ain't saying Detroit, Flint, Michigan air. <laughs> what kind of air are we talking about here? Air where? Air fresh. Everywhere. Air fresh. <laughs> <laughs> but motherfuckers, motherfuckers sucker for that statement. Air fresh. I've never thought about that ever. Air fresh. <laughs> so what type of air? What kind of air? I mean, there's many different types of air, man. Air fresh. 
There's that old Dead Sea Scroll here. You know what I mean? You know, dead fish on the, on the dock, fuck mm-hmm. ass air. There's a bunch of different airs. What kind of air fresh are you talking about? Is it pine cone air fresh? Because some, they always got that pine cone smell. Right? Like somebody really love the smell of forest or bear shit. You know what I mean? You got. It. Is his heart beating? Yeah, he breathing. You breathing? Yeah, it's easy. Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep this fresh. Just to make sure he stay breathing. But somebody gets one. Yeah. What up? Yeah, no more weed for you. That's what's up. Yeah. You know what's up? Yeah, no, what's up? You down. Yeah, it's the handicap. Yeah. No, 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 you drinking water. Don't move too fast, man. You bumped your head and you passed out. And then they laid you down because you was a dead man on the stoop. No, no, no. You got to get up. You got to drink some water. Drink some water. Drink, keep drinking that water. Whatever in your system, you got to rinse the fuck out. Because I was talking about air. See what I'm talking about? Damn. All air ain't fresh. This nigga just sucked up some air of weed and it knocked him completely the fuck out. Now I ran over there. I tried to save him from where I'm sitting at. But these niggas beat me to him. And they didn't revive him. Tony, you good? See, see, that's called a revelation. Nick, you need to drink some more water. And if you choose to die, do it somewhere else. I don't want that shit in my house. No, I swear, no, ain't nobody dying in my crib. And you need to choose somewhere else to do that bullshit. Yeah, nigga, you want to die? Hey, it ain't, it, it ain't at this address. Oh, shit. This nigga gonna smoke weed till he have a seizure in my residence. This this is just filed beyond the capital five. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Let us pray. Let us pray that this brother get your ass up, nigga. You, you, better, you better get your motherfucking ass up. You you better get your motherfucking ass up. If I gotta get up and come and get you, nigga, it's gonna be ugly. That's that gas. <laughs> come on. That you know that gas, gas ain't to be played with. See? Everybody think they can handle my weed. <laughs> See, but that gas, that gas is serious. Oh, oh, you had too much fuel, huh? You can't just fuck with my unleaded, nigga. <laughs> See, that unleaded, that shit weighed too much, didn't it? All right. We glad he is back. Uh, my heart jumped out my chest just for a split second. Yeah, because his eyes is open the whole Nigga, time. whole time. I'm like, God, that nigga like that. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, I'm on camera. I can't move. My people move, so you were safe. Because what the fuck I'm going to do? I ain't no doctor either. But Trey, Trey knew he like laid a nigga down. Keep this pressure on him. 
Because now, nah, your mom was a, used to be a nurse, right? Yeah, so he yeah. know. You lucky, nigga. You lucky, my nephew. Mama used to be a nurse. Otherwise, I'd have had to dump you in the bushes over there. Because I ain't called no oh, 911 as a dead nigga in my residence. That ain't going to work out. They going to say, who killed him? We'd all be under investigation right now. Some of these niggas would set him up, drug him, and kill him. No, nigga. We had to dump your ass in some bushes. Sign this right here. Just sign it. <laughs> and like that nigga caught out front. No, it ain't. <laughs> I got some black leather gloves. I didn't touch it. Get the keys out the nigga pocket. We're going to drive <laughs> over there where we dropped the nigga off at. <laughs> he jumped out his car and ran into the bushes. That's what happened. I don't know. <laughs> I think he got too high and just. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, you know, uh, yeah, no, no, you cannot die at Eddie Griffin's residence because they gonna find you. Not at my residence. That's all. I'm saying. No. You gotta pick somewhere else to die. This is not the location. <laughs> that's that's all I'm saying. Oh shit! You know I love you. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but not here. You can be a um, you cannot die. Uh, you can give a review for the weed. Look, yeah, can I get a review for the weed? Cause tell these motherfuckers what my weed just did to you. No, that's the best advertise. Come come, can, can come, we, come around here. Should I should I pan? Pan. You, you wanna be on camera? <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah. <laughs> tell them what the weed just did to you. No, tell them how your heart stopped. Bumped your head. <laughs> See, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't. Tell them that. That's all we need. Yeah, to tell them you, tell them you took a couple of hits and you, hey, this, you know this. This is. I and, and I've I've never, you know, experienced any major opiates. No, but this right here is as close to an opiate than. And it is totally natural. And it is totally. It is God's plant. See, and God planted him here this evening to advertise my weed. And that's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's why the nigga damn near died. Because God loved me that much. He brought the nigga close to death to advertise my trees. <laughs> and I'd like to thank God. Thank you again, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, because you just said the best example of what my weed can do to you. It was all on camera. Y'all see him run away from me over there panicking. This nigga died because he took one too many hits. See, it's called laughing gas because it put it on your ass. And then you're going to laugh after you resurrect yourself. See, he laughed. See? This is what my weed does, see? It's called laughing gas. Laughing gas. If you see this package at your store, you better be careful. Because <laughs> this laugh could be your last laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you will have the last laugh. The laughing gas. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all thought y'all been laughing at me, nigga. I'm gonna have the last laugh. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Make sure somebody with you. Nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? Niggas about trying to cop that. You <laughs> might want to have a nurse or two around <laughs> if you hit this here. Because look at it. It ain't to be played with. <laughs> this is why it has. The two doctor snakes in the picture. Can you get a close up of that? Mm -hmm. See, it's purple because I'm a royal ass nigga. But you see them purple snakes? That's the doctor's pole because that's what you're going to need after smoking this. <laughs> you see that on the side of the ambulance? It's going to be It's on the side. Of, it's on any medical shit. It has this. Two snakes wrapped around each other. See, because your DNA going to get fucked up with this one. You all right? Yeah. All right. See? And he's back. See? Okay. It'll take you there, but he come right back. Come back, baby. 
I thought your heart had stopped on you. <laughs> Lucky nephew hit you in the chest and resurrected you. 